Hey, TIL Kids Zone and Lit. I'm Miss Sandy, and I want to thank you for tuning in today. I'm so excited to share the word with you, so I hope you're ready to learn. Our theme for this month is I'm Thankful. Today we will talk about being thankful no matter what. Our passage for today is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 through 18, which says, Be cheerful no matter what. Pray all the time. Thank God no matter what happens. This is the way God wants you who belong to Christ Jesus to live. I want to challenge you to remember today's key verse, which is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. For some of you, that might sound like a lot to remember, and that's okay. So to keep it simple, you can say, be thankful no matter what. That is what God wants me to do. Now, before we get started, let's pray. Dear God, today we are excited about your word. Open our ears so that we may hear your voice. Help us to dig deep into your ways and learn all we can about how to live a life that makes you proud. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey there, Isaiah. Why the sad face? Because I feel sad. What's wrong, sweetie? Would you like to talk about it? Yes, ma'am. Tell me more. I'm so bored, and I'm tired of playing with these same old toys. I haven't seen my friends in a long time. We never go anywhere. I just sit in my room and do nothing. It's like a prison for children. Wow, that must be really frustrating. Very. You know what? I know you're not that happy about this situation, but it's really important to be thankful no matter what. Thankful? Yes, thankful. This actually reminds me of a story in the Bible, Paul and Silas. I love stories. A long time ago, Paul and Silas went to Philippi to spread the word of Jesus. There they encountered a slave girl who was possessed by an evil fortune-telling spirit. Many people would pay for her to tell their fortunes, which made her slave masters very wealthy. For days, the girl followed Paul and Silas around, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God. They are showing the way to salvation. One day, Paul was troubled by the girl's situation, so he commanded the evil spirit to leave her, and she was no longer able to tell fortune. Her master became angry, so he took Paul and Silas to the court, the judge found them both guilty and ordered Paul and Silas to be beaten with rods and thrown into jail. They were chained to the walls, and a guard was ordered to keep watch on them. Whoa, 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 they went to jail? That's really sad. Hold on, there's more. Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, when suddenly there was a great earthquake. It shook the entire prison, and all the doors on all of the cells flew open. Every prisoner's chains came loose. Yay, they all ran free. Nope, they decided to stay. And because of that, several people decided to follow Jesus that night, including the guard and his family. The next morning, they were freed from jail by the courts, and they continued on their mission of telling people about Jesus. I get it now. I'm starting to feel thankful already. God is amazing. I'm thankful for today, El Kito. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for my toys. I'm thankful for my food. I'm thankful for my school. I'm thankful for my schools. I'm thankful for my mom. I'm thankful for my dad. I'm thankful for my... Like Paul and Silas, at times we may find ourselves in situations we don't like. We could be having problems at home, struggling in school, sad because we lost a loved one. Maybe we couldn't hang out with our friends, feel alone, or we didn't get the shoes or the gift that we wanted. There are so many things that can happen that may leave us feeling sad or disappointed. But Jesus said, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. 
God wants us to live a life that is full of joy. We should always be thankful for every little blessing we have. In the not so good times, we must do our part by making the decision to apply the three points from today's passage. As 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 says, God wants us to number one, be cheerful, number two, pray all the time, and number three, thank God no matter what happens. While Paul and Silas were in jail, they prayed. Prayer is not only a good time that we can ask God for things, but prayer is also a good way that we can give thanks to God. Let's pray together. Dear God, we are thankful for this moment and opportunity that you have given us to learn about you. We are thankful for your love and all that you have given us. No matter what we go through, help us to always be thankful. Give us opportunities to share what we have learned with others. In Jesus' name, amen.